Hello, welcome to another episode of Out of Stand Nation. Uh, it's just back with the two of us at the moment. Nick is uh, uh he he's got <laughs> he's kind of he, got a bit of a situation going on at the house with the with the roofers. So you know he could record today, but then you just hear a lot of banging and clanging. Uh, you so, you really got to call him out like that, don't you? Absolutely, man. You know our viewers only deserve the best. <laughs> Calling each other out, really? Absolutely, yeah, for for, for their entertainment value. So, um. Also, this shirt, the last time I wore this shirt on an episode was for our very first episode. Wait, really? I don't think... You didn't have a camera then. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. So, uh, let's get into our first uh, set of topics because we got a packed episode um, again. Um, goodness, COC is back with Helicopter. Right. So, we got... Now this one uh, kind of takes it back to was it Devil with the with this uh, with much more hip hop uh, trap sound. Yeah. So I, I don't really follow CLC that that much, but um, wait a minute, not Devil. Uh, no. Devil was the last song that was the last. I, I want to say I really maybe Black one. Dress. Black Dress, yeah. So somewhere yeah. around Black Dress or was it me? Um, maybe. I, so, I have a hard time remembering every single like title that we've listened to and which song, which groups that they were associated with. Well, he just has a bad memory, memory altogether. Okay. I, the hand, I, just, I have the excuse of I don't really follow CLC, so I don't. But I would say um, this is a really, really uh, enjoyable song for me. I actually, so right? I generally didn't really like a lot of CLC's music from before. Um, Devil was like the first song that really that I actually really enjoyed from them. Mm. And this one, um, even though I didn't like s- some of the stuff before Devil, because, you know, I don't really like that overly thrashy uh, trap sound. Mm-hmm. Here, I think what it is, is just that um, it's a bit more subdued. Not, well, I won't say subdued, because it's still very impactful, right? It, it's, um, it's more of a, it's not, a, it's woman empowerment, but it's not like an aggressive woman empowerment kind of song. Well, I, yeah, I mean, like, as far as like the actual, like, this, like the, um, not just the concept, but like the actual music itself, um, right. the musical uh, compliment. I, I just, it's not really I'm, crashy. Right. I'm, I'm so. just trying to kind of get a... Visual and an, an idea of how how to describe what you're saying, but I don't think I'm describing it the best way for it either. Yeah, yeah, because I'm I'm talking entire, entirely just the music itself, right? Um, not like the actual like not not just the um not just the concept and the lyrics and the you know the right, uh, but like which the is what I'm tr- sound qualities. Yeah, which is what I'm trying to say too, but I'm, it's I don't think it's coming across right. Yeah, because like women's empowerment um just doesn't really fit. For this, well, I'm trying to describe because this sound, um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's if, if it's a girl group or if it's a boy group, right. or if it's a male soloist, female soloist. Um, just talking about like the genre in, in general. Mm-hmm. Um, but is there for me? It's it's much more, let's say, danceable too. So, right, right. Yeah, but you know, it, yeah, I never really appreciated their vocal their vocals uh, either as much. Mm. But here they really put it to good use because uh, they have a bit of um kind of buzz. So for like, when they're not rapping, there's also a little bit of soul um in there in the way that they deliver uh, some of these lines. So okay, yeah, it's it's a very very enjoyable song. Like, they're, they're hitting a lot of um a, a lot of the right notes for me at the moment. So, right, so right, right. So it, for f- it highlights it hi- it when it comes to each member for when it comes to their part, it really highlights especially highlights the part, vo- vocals individually really well mm-hmm. so I very much agree with you on that yep. but you 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 were a fan uh, since like what was it Goblin you said or Black Go- Dress Black Dress was the very first song I've heard uh, from them uh, mm-hmm. it was from from the chat that we met it was a there were a few people who suggested it to me I was like all right, uh, let me give it a try. And I was like, "All right, this is this is really good." And then they gave mm-hmm. showed me Goblin right after. So I did like a lot of their songs. There were a few songs in between, like Goblin and Black Dress and Double, that weren't my favorite either. 
Mm -hmm. Um, but that was very much overly aggressive for for my taste. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. But this one I really didn't like. Uh, I especially liked how they opened and closed it. The opening and closing for this music video. Yeah. With the helicopter. Um, at first I was like, am I watching a Bone Night Identity or a uh, uh, movie yeah. or something like that? Kind of, kind of gives it like that cin cinematic feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, the, the um, also noticed too, um, we're in, I think it was me. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't really care too much about the the rap deliveries either. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know if I, I have to go back and, and watch me again because like maybe I'm just maybe it's just that my, my music tastes have, have kind of um, adjusted a bit so that I'm not coming around to their type of music. I, so well, like uh, Yeon, she was on what was it, Good Girl. Mm. So I think they they might have taken. Uh, her experiences from Good Girl to try to influence this a little oh, bit more. Um, okay. At least that's my my thoughts. Um, cause well, I mean, I think I think that's valid too because we, we we've seen something similar happen with another group that we're about to talk talk about later on in this lineup as well mm -hmm. for this episode. So yeah, I mean, and not just that, but like we've even see, seen that in um, uh, Kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. Kingdom, mm -hmm. Queendom. Um, Right. Even other survival shoot, uh, groups before or shows before that, so yeah, I, I think I think um, that could be valid. I, I mean, I, again, I'd have to go back and check out me again to do, you know yeah, really right. see like where where the progression went. Um, but um, yeah, in this song, like the, their their rap delivery, um, I actually really enjoy it as well. Like every bit of the song, mm -hmm. and you know it's funny because like I've been saying for a while now that I'm pretty burnt out on trap, but you know it's like it's like every week you know songs come out that just like seems to like say like. We give the impression that I'm not burnt out on trap at all, actually. But yeah, I think you're, I, it, you're burnt out on trap. But then there's those very, very special stand ones out. that just stand out the, to you. Yeah, yeah. The it, the ones that are like well executed. Like, mm -hmm. Well, because we don't talk about every single. Taste. We we don't talk about every single trap song. Uh, no. So the ones we do talk about, you know, are the ones mm -hmm. that will are the ones that are stand out to you, or yeah, stand, stand out, out to, to us, or even so, even there's been quite a few songs that I really enjoyed or really stood out to me, mm -hmm. but I still put it up to go on the chopping block because I just felt like it wouldn't generate a really good discussion. Like you know, repeating a lot of the same stuff that was already said with other songs in the lineup mm -hmm. or from previous weeks. So that's also part of the the equation for what we decide on for right. these episodes. Right. So, uh, music video. Uh, tell me about this music video, or. It it's very much more aesthetic than story based. Um, yeah, but, but it very much feels futuristic, almost like yeah. Ever even got some almost like yeah. Everglow's kind of style. Everglow, um, and even a little bit of uh, WJSN as well. Right. I mean, not as much as like the the prettiness of WJSN, but more of that that cosmic feeling because they have some scenes in there. Yeah, where you can see like uh, uh, stars in the background. Um. Kind of like the Milky Way type of deal, right? Um, which I, 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 was which was done really well. Um, it it almost put each member as if they were well, they're they're very strong women. They are yep. in in their own right. It's just it basically enhances uh, those features of strong women in this in in the music video and i think mm -hmm. that using each scene was really well done to try to highlight that yeah there was a lot of like lights um mm -hmm. like, they use a lot of led lights uh across like various scenes rather it be like strips of led lights in the background like some of the scenes where, where they're dancing performing mm -hmm. or um like they had one where it looked like she had like angel wings but that were made out of like um angular lights mm -hmm. the led strips so you know, there's there's quite a, quite a lot of a uh, um, kind of futuristic, I guess, futuristic right. cosmic, uh, but sh strong imagery. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but not too futuristic, not like the the super geeky uh, futuristic. It's so, I, how would I, I don't know how I would explain it. It's like it's that very in between. It's, very, it's like that. It's very hip hop, hip hop. Uh, um, Hip hop, hip -hop futuristic. Future. Yeah, hip hop yeah. futuristic. Yeah. Um, 
and like you said uh, you said it's more of an aesthetic video. Yeah, it's more of an aesthetic and performance uh, music video. Cause it, so I, I would say like it feels like I didn't. I mean, obviously I didn't count the time, but it feels like half of the music video is of uh, showing them like performing and dancing. Mm-hmm. So, which I'm not complaining about at all. I actually really love that. I love being able to see more of the choreography. So. Mm-hmm. And I, I I like how the the costume designer did an amazing job in choosing their outfits. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't super loud, mm-hmm. like um, Super M with Tiger inside. Mm-hmm. That but, was really loud with their costumes. Um, yeah, this this not, one this one fit more where it it helped enhance the the girls and yeah, it didn't overshadow them. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, what we talked about last episode, where it's like it's not um, the outfit wearing the girl; it's you know the girl wearing the outfit. So, yeah, right. okay, and it's not boring either. Like it's 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 stylish, um, but it's not overly accentuated either, not overly accessorized. So, mm-hmm. um, it better fits. It better right. fits this uh this music video. So, all right, you wanna. You ready to move it on to our next one? Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna bring it in. All right, so we have a soloist for this next one, um, with a name that some of you might recognize. It is Lee Un Song with "Beautiful Sky," and featuring Park Woo Jin from AB6. Yeah. So, so this song right here is uh, um, more of a contemporary R&B um, song with some. New Jack Swing elements in there. Mm-hmm. Very, very smooth, um, sexy song. Um, very sensual, we say. The sound is very sensual. So, yeah. No. So, it, uh, it, it's that that deeper beat kind of. I think that it's that deeper beat that's kinda, like mm-hmm. kind of creeps in because it, yep. it starts out very light in the beginning and then it kind of yep. creeps in, kind of make that sense essential and then you just add in that voice that yep. cements that essential part yeah this is this is like a this is a, a very um this is a song that will definitely set a mood you know in, in the evening you know when, when it's you and your date so it's mm-hmm. a great song actually so you and song i was honestly really surprised with this really very surprised because there when we were watching him on uh produce x 101 there was a lot of uh, instances where it shows him being very unexpressive, right? Yeah. You know, he, where he'd just be like really kind of like stone-faced and just unexpressive. Mm-hmm. So when I saw that he was having a solo debut, I was actually kind of worried. I'm like, you know, how is he going to do a, have, have a solo debut? But then like when I like, was watching this video, I'm just like, whoa. Like, they're, they're, like he, you know, you go from seeing like uh, unexpressive Lee and Song and Protus X101 and here's this dude who is just like making love to the camera with his face you know <laughs> and not just with his face like with his voice too like his vocals are so smooth with this delivery oh, yeah. like very 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 um you know because like a lot of just like we talked about last uh last week right with Kim Yohan a lot of um male soloists a lot of boy groups especially um, especially in the boy group realm, very strong, very powerful, very like we're trying to be overly masculine, right? Right. Here, it's like it's not, it's it's not that you know, it's it, not that it's it, he's it's trying too to masculine. He's trying it's to like he's, convey his soul. Yeah, he's 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 conveying his soul. Uh, he's not trying, you know, to show off his masculinity. He doesn't. He doesn't. You know, he doesn't need to. He doesn't care about that. It's just, you know, uh, let's, let's join our hearts together. You know? Right. Yeah. It really is a, a, an amazing uh, song, right? Really. So, now that music video. Um, it's it's or, another one that I want to say is feels like a performance music video more than a story driven music video. It really is. So, so this one where helicopter where helicopter felt like half and half. This one feels more like seventy five percent performance and like. You know, twenty five percent of like still shots of his face or him in like a, a that uh, glass box, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know, 
is definitely a lot more performance and I don't remember him I mean I, I remember thinking like yeah he's pretty talented with his dancing but like wow he's gotten really good I don't remember him being this good uh, yeah I think in, with with more training uh, since PDX and taking that experience that he got mm-hmm. you know it really helped to for him to go all right, these are my weak points. These are my strong points. Let's work on these weak points. So when they he finally debuted, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, um, I was also kind of worried too with Park Min Jin, uh, AB6 coming in. I'm like, wasn't sure like how how are they gonna make these make these two work together. Um, it, I thought I thought it was great. You know, like um, especially like you kind of. The uh, where he comes in, it mm-hmm. comes in with like a bit of a dance break as well, mm-hmm. and I don't know. It's almost like, wow, dude, you know, the song's already like blowing his way with his dancing, and then here comes Park Jin, and he's also like just slaying it. His rap did not feel out of place. In fact, it was very well inserted, very well executed, mm-hmm. matched up very well with the song. It. Provided a, a kind of like a, a, it worked kind of like a, kind of like a, um, kind of like a bridge, I guess, in a way, where it changes up the the um, the pace of the song a bit, mm-hmm. and so that when the, when it actually gets back into the song, you know, you're, you're you're ready for it again, you're you're whining it again. Right. And so we did get that, but the song didn't have an actual bridge though. Mm-hmm. So when you get that, like, really, um, when you're going for go from that uh you know Ian song to Papa Jin's rap and then going into the bridge like it really helped the song feel fresh it did not feel like it was getting um it it added negative. that contrast it added that needed yeah. contrast and yes that that's something that uh can be easily lost if with soloists um oh yeah, yeah. we we've, we've heard a lot of soloists and it it very much when they're alone it can it can sound very monotone or or monotone isn't the right word uh mono just very singular very singular For, yeah repetitive one dimensional Ex- and you know um, that's the word. especially when they take take after uh, or especially when it's a song that's kind of based along the lines of like American uh, pop music mm-hmm. it, it just really like magnifies that to me so right and i think that's and, why uh what for me that's why i'm more into groups is because the different vocals add at the yep, different varieties. The variety mm-hmm. yes i'm very much the same way and um and like among the three of us i feel like i'm probably the the biggest uh like follower of soloist yeah and yeah e- even like among the, the soloists that i do follow um I still want to have like that that variety in there as well right. within the song or within their lineup of songs. So mm-hmm. yeah, um, I will say for this music video, um, though the scenes that they used, like the um, the sets, I I don't know. Like it was definitely I like the color palette as well as like the the uh, kind of like the the film quality that they used. Mm-hmm. For me, I it, I like the use of butterflies. It it made it feel more graceful, which goes in line with the with the music. Mm-hmm. So that kind of sensual um, atmosphere of the music as well um, also has like that kind of that 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 feeling of grace as well. Right. It, they, they, it very very much goes in. And if you notice too, in a lot of the scenes, they're wearing outfits um, that are kind of flowy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Kind of like uh, um, you know what when, like a dress is you know the dress is flowing as as a, as a, the woman's like twirling around or walking yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like the similar here where he's wearing um, where he wears like the the long um, what mm-hmm. should I say the buttoned up shirts that have the that are untucked so at the, at the bottom part where that will be tucked in kind of flows as well, or the yeah. collar itself is kind of like. Uh, flappy. So, yeah, the the sleeves. type the the type of clothing co- costumes that were used were very much used to help that gracefulness to help that. Yep. Because you know, when you see 
the women in like long the like the dresses is mm-hmm. they're usually the graceful kind of women type in those yep. kind of movies or in the those kinds of scenes. Um, it's yeah. it's it's really it, they did it really well. Same with uh, when they use the um, the smoke effects mm-hmm. um, in a lot of those uh, to kind of help create like that fil- uh, billowy or billowy, the flowing um, uh, you know kind of mood I would say flowing mm-hmm. kind of mood as well in certain scenes. So this, you know mm-hmm. this is uh, some of the moments that I wish Nick was here because he just fill in all the words that we can't think of at the moment. <laughs> he yeah. understands what we say but that we can't say, mm-hmm. and he just goes, "Oh, you mean this word? Yes." Yeah. Well, we, we do that for each other, um, a lot, the three of us. So, yeah. like, between the three of us, we make one complete, you know, We make one brain dictionary. cell. We make yeah. one brain cell. <laughs> uh, we, only, we only have, we are running on two-thirds of a brain cell right now, guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, you, you want to move it on to our next one? All right, let's go. All right, so this next one is a, a female soloist. Um, the, her name is uh, Alia. And this is my blue moon. So, is it pronounced Alia or Alia? Alia. 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 I just want to be sure. Yep. I I checked. So. Alright. Uh, this is another uh, R and B song, but this is more of a, a um, just straight uh, kind of traditional contemporary R and B song. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is a mood, like a straight up mood, man, with the song. It's so chill. This is definitely, it's definitely a, a song to chill to. Absolutely. Now, normally, um, when a lot of people describe songs like that, right? The first thing I think of was like, okay, well, so it's a it's a song that would be boring for me to sit down and listen to, focusing on the song, like actively listening to. Uh, more like a song that I want to put on the background and do something else like cleaning or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Not the case here. It is still very much an, uh, a very engaging song for me. Right. Really? Um, a big part of that is her vocal delivery. Her vocals has so much weight. <sighs> weight. Yeah. Um. She does have a lot of weight in her vocals. Mm-hmm. Um. For her vocal timbre. But also, not just in, in the quality of her vocals, but like the the amount of kind of like this. This cool swag that she kind of she has mm-hmm. you know, with with a delivery. Right. You know, it, it's, it draws it's you very in. much a confident woman. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You you know you know that that person who's just who's just confident and cool that just that just draws people towards them. Yeah. You know that people just want to be around that person, hang out with the person, and talk to that person. Like this that that is that is her vocal vocals with this song. Mm-hmm. It very much calls my attention. Like. You know, it's it is not like those other type of chill songs that makes me want to like put it in the background and listen passively. This right. is more like a song that I just want to, I want to listen to her. I want to see her on stage. I want to see her live. Right. You know, like, or um, for me, I kind of want to see her on one of those like jazz bar like mm-hmm. stages. Yes. Just yes. Have a nice beverage. Uh, hang out with some friends, mm-hmm. just like grooving to it, sipping on the beverage. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know the, the the music video itself is set in a kind of a, a jazz bar type of uh, background, and it's the absolute um, perfect representation for, it, for this music video. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know that reminded me, like, I, I forgot to bring this up, but the um, the musical accompaniment also has a bit of a, a jazziness to it right and so that's just yet another reason why like you and i would love the song because we love jazz right so. this is i feel like this is something that we wouldn't usually talk about because nick isn't this would be on nick's chopping block yeah. because he's it not a bit chopping block not yeah. be, not because he doesn't like it it's i feel like it's well he doesn't like jazz he's said it multiple yeah. times yeah he um, doesn't like jazz but for for something like this, um, even with if Nick was around, it could probably still make it into the lineup because you and I would have like have enough things to talk about with it, you know, like just like how we're doing it right now. We're having an entire section for her. Yeah, so. well, he'd he'd be outvoted. Um, but no, <laughs> <laughs> no, now, that, uh, it, it, and 
uh, like I actually really enjoy the scenes that they use because yes. we we say we say jazz boy we say th- this and that um she she was it it very much of a boy scene you know um the whole piano uh which by the way that I really loved that piano scene oh. is that that part alone too was just amazing for mm-hmm. me and then the dark red kind of that yeah. dark Sensual, like. Oh yeah, especially coming color. from 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 um you know the the lighting of it mm-hmm. of the interior, yeah. It reminded me of those really old movies. Um, yeah, with with the singer just standing on stage, but yeah. more modernized. And, yeah. Oh, it's. I, w- I would love to go to a jazz boy and just listen to her sing on stage. Yeah, you know, later on, I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm gonna watch this again later on tonight over some uh, adult beverages as well on my own. Like it is. It, it, it is an absolutely <laughs> uh, perfect song, music video for uh, for relaxing in the evening. Mm-hmm. Oh man, this is great. Yeah. Yep. Get a nice olive in there too. <laughs> yes, this man knows it. So. Okay, so I mean that was all it was my blue moon, and you know I just realized I don't think we um for that last uh song I don't think we even said the title for the song I think we just went straight to talking about no it. we did uh, oh we did beautiful yeah. scar yeah I remember we... saying it oh wait, you did you you I, I, okay, I said I was like okay Le- Leon songs of beautiful scar you okay, straight I, missed it thanks yeah. I mean, if if it was me introing it, I would have skipped over it because I would have been too excited to just get to straight to talking about you know Yoon's song and and the, and the song and then itself, Al- so. and then Ali is my blue moon. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. So <laughs> all right, let's let's move it let's on to the around. next one. All right, so this one I'm actually really um, excited to talk about as well. Uh, this is the Lovelies with Obliviate. This is their first. Is it Obliviate or Obliviate? Obliviate. Oh. I didn't see a V. That's why. Okay, yeah. I'm blind. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> so this is their first comeback since participating on Kingdom. Um, the member, a lot of the individual members have been busy. I thought that they had another one before. Nope. So they've been busy with uh, uh, a lot of individual activities, um, okay. variety shows, dramas, and whatnot. Um, since then, uh, was that we've had two solo uh, comebacks. Okay, and, that's probably uh, why I got so confused. Yeah. It's because it's, the solo comebacks. Yep, solo comeback from K, uh, solo debut from Sujong. So mm-hmm. now this song uh, is Tropical House and some trap in there as well. Mm-hmm. So as I was um, as I was watching the from the very first opening, like forty five seconds or so, um, it hit me. Uh, it reminded me of Eyes One's Fiesta. Okay. Because it also had a bit of a future funk in there as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, wait, did I say future funk or tropical house? I think you said uh, for this you said future funk. For I think in before we started recording, you thought it was tropical house. Uh, oh. no, no, no. So that was, that was another group. So okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so for this song, it's it's uh, um if I if I did say tropical house, sorry, I, I meant uh f- more future funk here, future funk with some trap elements. So it was very much uh, uh reminding me of Eyes Must Fiesta from the first like over okay. forty five seconds of the song, and then it does kind of get into his trap moments, and it kind of goes back to the the future funkness. So if you're not familiar with Lovelies, um, there this is very much of a different concept from the, for them. They normally do the very uh pretty. Um, pure, fresh kind of sound. Um, if you remember G Friend from, you know, up until 2019, right? Prior to 2019, G Friend, it was very much along the lines of like what they, um, what their you know, concerts were like, and they debuted around the same time. So, Lovely's they debuted, did, they did. Because um, like I think Lovely's debuted just a little bit earlier than G Friend, so like November of 2014, I believe, and then G Friend mm-hmm. was like. Like not even six months later, so yeah, from the I, same generation. Right, I remember you mentioning it a lot when we were watching Queendom together. Yeah, uh, I do miss having those uh, viewing parties though, where we just watch oh, it at man. the same time. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Those are fun, man. Like, yeah, um, uh, I, I would love to be able to do that again. So, and then, here with 
Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so I was going to bring it back to the song. Um, so here they have, we have this change in, in uh, concept. It's mm -hmm. obviously a much more darker concept, um, but it doesn't go into like the realm of like uh, of a hard crush. Um, right. You know, and it's still very, I would say, it's still very kind of like lovely, I guess, in a way. So in, in a sense. So for me, um, while watching and listening to this song, it very much did feel like a lovely is a song. But mm -hmm. it also felt like a step away from their original concept. Um, you see it. You see in they're wearing their white flowy dresses. They, you yep. see like kind of hints of purity. But again, yep. it's not. You're also seeing like darker concepts. You're seeing yep. stuff that's different from what they did before. Um, and yep. this is very much like like we've said before. Um, it feels like it was influenced by Queendom. Mm -hmm. oh. yep, they, they, yeah, and you know, I'm just really glad. So, like within the realm of, especially Wulim as a company, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we've we've kind of made fun of Wulim or kind of get you know, give them a hard time about being very conservative with with how they execute their concepts mm -hmm. and not wanting to take risks and, and not wanting to like deviate from their usual sound. Mm -hmm. um, here, you know, I'm really I'm really proud of uh, Wulim. For you know, taking this you know this step, right. um, I think it's a much needed step to kind of freshen up their image and their their sound. Right. So the song itself, um, it's like you were saying, right? Uh, you see, like the the that kind of the, some of the the white and the, the purity and whatnot. And this is a this is a heartbreak song. Um, you know, mm -hmm. it's trying to get over a uh, heartbreak. Like some of the lyrics were like, you know, I swallow you in my heart and, and try, you know forget about you. Right. Like that type of you know those type of lyrics in there. Um, and in a sense, I was also reminded of not so much musically or even really image-wise, um, but I was reminded of this, of how nature did a similar transition, right? Because mm -hmm. last year and the year prior to that when they debuted, they also had like that very fun, cutesy, girly, pure, fresh concepts. And then all, all of a sudden, they came back with girls. They're like their most recent comeback. And it's got a very horror, horror-like uh, concept like it's more along the lines closer to like what G Idol would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that, that, yeah, he had a huge deviation from, from that concept. Um, Lovelies doesn't go that doesn't go quite that far. And I mean, it's a similar concept, right? Just like mm -hmm. with, with girls, they're talking about kind of like um, that how love and or love and or uh, heartbreak from love can kind of you know cause that that inner turmoil mm -hmm. that um, you right. see that here, just not without the without the horror. Uh, or the deep horror concept, or visuals because you do mm -hmm. see some some of that right where, yeah um, especially GC where she's kind of like you know grabbing at her hair and her face is just contorted because she's like in pain like mm -hmm. in you know emotional pain right and you do see some of that so yeah um I mean it it there's there's a lot of ways you can uh kind of interpret this music video too um mm -hmm. like that Especially at the ending when they're burning, uh, yeah, burning down the house. Yeah, it's almost burning as down if, that mansion. Right, it's uh, burning down what they feel comfortable with. You know, they're they're stepping away from where they felt most comfortable, which was that pure concept that they've been doing for so long, and they're mm -hmm. stepping into a new realm that is just different. And I think that's a really good move for Lovelies. Because mm -hmm. we've we've said it before, you know, cute and pure concepts can't last forever for a, a group because you know yeah. they grow, the members you grow get, up, they get older, they yep. get older. I mean, one of the members, she's uh, I think she's already pushing thirty at this point now. So mm -hmm. I think so. Uh, baby soul, she's like the oldest. I think she was like twenty eight um, mm -hmm. last year or the year before. So she's probably coming up on thirty now. Yeah. So. Um, the uh, the music video is performing very well, actually. It's actually mm -hmm. on uh, one of the case at six million views as of this recording. So, it, which has boost it more, boost please, it please. more. And, but it's already outperformed their previous uh, comeback from last year, mm -hmm. um, "Beautiful Days," which combined combined with one of the K and their channel, 
um, isn't even six million views. So, right. And I think part of that too comes from their um, exposure that they got from Queendom, especially with the Western audience. Mm-hmm. So, and, and looking at the comments, like I see a lot of English comments in there. So, I think Queendom did help them. Mm-hmm. Even though it's already been like coming up on almost a full year since since that show was over with, right? Right. So, but again, you know, they did gain a considerable amount of fans. Um, yep. And. <clears throat> Just when we just seeing them step away from the pure, pure and innocent concept uh, in Queendom and showing that Wulam, showing Wulam that they can do other concepts very yeah. well, I think allowed them to create something like this. Um, yeah. And I'm not saying that the other like music videos are bad at, very very much not so. I love their stuff. I mean, I, I actually, actually like I didn't realize this too. Um, I have more Lovely's albums than any other artist. Like I seriously do, and you know, like Lovely's isn't even in. They're not like they're not um, like my old group either. You know, right? Not like Oh My Girl, Twice, Mama Moo, mm-hmm. Eyes One. You know, but I have they, like the most they, albums from them. <laughs> they're a really so. good group, and they do deserve more recognition. Um, absolutely. Uh, and, so yeah. You know, I, I want to say like, the significance here isn't just with Lovelies, it's with their company. Mm-hmm. Um, Willem, I, I, I'm, I'm really glad to see Willem um, just stepping it up. Right. Because yeah, you, you've heard us say it several times uh, over the course of last year, right? The Willem sound. The Willem sound. That uh, the Willem sound. If you're if you're to, to like just play this to me, and not tell me that this is from Willem, this is or this is Lovelies, I would have I would never have guessed that this was Willem. Yeah, so, I'm glad. I'm, I honestly am. So, mm-hmm. uh, you want to bring it to our our next topic? All right. So, next one we have a another soloist uh, with Jackson. Well, kind of a soloist. It's a team up with Jackson Wang, uh, from God Seven and Gal- Galantis. Galan- Galantis. Yeah, I guess I've heard of that one. Uh, I think the uh, dual group. Um, okay. called Pretty Please, and it is a definitely a callback. Uh, Jackson yeah. does mention it in the at the end of the music video. That is a mm-hmm. callback to old Hong Kong movies. Yep. Yeah, he said it, um, the song itself um, is is also a callback to like the eighties uh, style um, for like Hong Kong, like music that was popular in the in the eighties for Hong Kong. Yeah, at least that's what it felt like. Um, because okay. Uh, it reminded me of a of a lot of old Hong Kong movies that my parents used to watch when I was a kid, um, mm-hmm. and those movies were back from like the eighties. So, and did this music was the music featured like similar to this? Very similar, at least from okay. what at least from what I remember from a long, long time ago. Okay, so oh. so for those of you who are not familiar, I have not uh, checked out the music video or the song yet. Um, the impression that he's giving me is that um, the Hong Kong music scene w- would have been um, influenced by the American music scene at the time, especially more, more specifically the, mm-hmm. closer to like the Motown music. I, so, I feel like it's funk, more R&B, was more so... uh, Western because mm-hmm. Hong Kong had a lot of Western influence back in the day yep. too. At, um, so in the eighties, um, Hong Kong was still a part of uh, the UK, was still mm-hmm. a UK territory. So it wasn't until like nineteen ninety seven that uh, Hong Kong was handed back over from the UK to China. Mm-hmm. So a little bit of history lesson. Yeah. Um, the uh, yeah. So the, the song itself um, has a lot of funk, uh, R and B, uh, soul, a little bit of disco in there, and again, like more of a, um, the eighties style of those genres. Mm-hmm. So. Um, so there's a lot with the music video going on with the music video and how that interacts with the song. So uh, I always have to leave this one up to you. Or yeah, I mean, so if you, like it's it's a very much of a love letter to um those old Hong Kong movies. Um, it's especially uh you see the white shirt that uh Jackson is wearing. It's it was one very stereotypical of the main characters, um, at least from what I remember from the type of movies my parents watched. I'm not saying 
oh yeah, this is all the Hong Kong movies, or this is all the、uh, music that happened in Hong Kong. But it's like the what you you use that the rolled up white shirts to designate. This is kind of like the bad boy, kind of the the main character kind of thing. Um, who kind of chases after the girl, and she's very always like very gorgeous in those movies. Um, and doesn't always desire the main, the main uh protagonist. The main character, the protagonist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he's got to work for that love, right? Exactly. Um. I'm trying to remember the movie, Rumble in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. Yeah,、uh, he. That's a really old movie. A, a lot of our viewers probably weren't even born when that movie came out. Yeah. So, by the way, you'll see Jackie Chan look extremely young in that movie. Oh, pretty freaking young.、Um, yeah, because he's like what in his sixties now or fifties? Yeah. Yeah. I know he's that, pretty old right now.、So. Um, that movie was maybe in his late twenties, early thirties. I think it was. Okay. Um, um, I I kind of felt like、uh, um, like with the dancing, it kind of felt like a、uh, what's that, like a fairly fairly recent movie, like in the past what eight years, La La Land. I haven't watched La La Land. I haven't watched it either, but I know it's like really um, I know with the dancing that that they featured in that movie, um, is very much a lot like what you would see here. So if you've、yeah. seen La La Land, um.、Uh, You'll see a lot of that kind of,、uh, yeah. So well, Greece, Greece. That's a really old movie, dude. If they have, if they haven't seen La La Land, they probably have not seen Greece. <laughs> most of our viewers probably <laughs>、oh, wow. weren't even born when that movie came out. <laughs> I wasn't born when that movie came out. Uh, uh, but no, like, I mean, I've seen Greece, but I haven't seen La La Land.、Uh. Okay. But uh, no, uh, it's it's very much of a callback to to those kinds of movies,、um, mm-hmm. and it's honestly, I mean, th- there's no real conflict in this music video. It's very no, it's just, just fun. Yeah, not yeah, exactly. Not not like a、um, interpersonal conflict or or you know fighting or arguing or anything like that. It's just、mm-hmm. it's, it's just a dude just trying to win over a woman. Exactly,、um, and. It's you. You you mentioned this before,、uh, almost like Bruno Mars callback to. You. Yeah, because I mean Bruno Bruno Mars, he does do a lot of that、um, kind of throwback sound、um, mm-hmm. with the funk, R and B, soul, disco, pop.、Mm-hmm. Um, so Vo-、yeah. vocals, vocal style, not like vocals, but vocal style is very much similar to、uh, Uptown Funk.、Uh, yes. It's that got that like nice funky like musical、mm-hmm. beat that you're like,、yep. all right, let's dance, let's go, uh huh. And I can't I do dance. I have a question. <laughs> um, there was one scene in there where they show like a, a silhouette, or actually not just one scene. There's actually several scenes. Scenes、um, of a wolf. Yeah. What's the what's the um what's the significance of a wolf in the,、um, so there's Hong Kong v- culture? It, I, I wouldn't. I'm not sure. It's. I I wouldn't say I know much about the significance of a wolf in Hong Kong culture,、um, but in general, like movie terms, it's kind of like, at least for a solo, like a lone wolf, it's right. Right. it's that got because you know that lone wolf is trying to find make a pack, trying to find his other. He's got that hunger, that desire, that drive. It's yeah. And、wolves are also known for being very、uh, cunning as well,、mm-hmm. um, and you know, in the game of love, they're all you, you also kind of you, you got to do what you can.、Cunning. Yep, because you, you know, notice how he kind of just takes that rose from the other guy,、um, yeah, to to hand, present to her.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you've also got like his friends who are like, all, all wearing black,、guy. but you know,、yep. they don't overshadow him, but they're hyping they're all him there up, to provide the support. Yep,、mm-hmm, kind of like a pack. You know they're、yep. they're hyping up their alpha male,、um, and that that could very much mean what what that wolf means.、Uh, he's the alpha wolf that's kind of、yeah. hungry for you know a love or trying to chase after that his、um, or, mate. Or even even if he's not actually the alpha in, the, in his group, they're trying to present him to be that way to help further impress the、e- woman. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 
you know, um, awesome wingman. Mm. So, I, I mean, sometimes it's debatable on some wingmen, but you know, I, I think these are always some <laughs> good wingmen. Yeah. So, yeah, and you know, um, I also noticed too. So, like the the woman featured in there, um, yeah, the way her makeup is done, uh, it really is a throwback to the '80s style because um, mm-hmm. not just I. I remember seeing clips of of uh, some like Hong Kong films mm-hmm. uh, like literally like literally like last week I think it was either last week or earlier this week I did see some clips of like some older films and like the hairstyle um, the makeup is all done up from that era I'm like wow yeah you're right it really is throwback right so, and uh, she is I remember her from another from something else um, Jackson mentioned it uh, I think it was A Hundred Ways that is what oh, he said. There? Yeah, I think I, if I remember right, huh. I need to watch the music that one hundred ways again, and just to have a look, just to be sure. But I think that's what mm-hmm. Jackson said. Um, okay, I don't remember exactly. Uh, but yeah, um, no, the song. Uh, I think for a lot, of, especially for our, our American viewers, you know, it wouldn't feel too out of place to listen to. Um, mm-hmm. For if you're like if you still listen to like a lot of American pop, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, this entire song is in English. The only other mm-hmm. language you really hear is Cantonese, um, which is a oh, dialect from, the, of, from yeah. the conversation. From the conversation. Yeah, from the song. conversation at the beginning of the yeah. For once, I didn't have to uh, watch the subtitles to understand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay, well, uh, you ready to move it on to our final piece? Yeah, let's go. All right, so this next one is uh, a debut group, and this is the comp- their company's first uh, group, right? Oh, from what Nick said? said, yes. So, uh, Lunar Solar is the group with the title, Oh Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. And, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, for yeah. a debut group, it's already at 600,000 views. Really? Off of Super Bugs, Super Sound Bugs. And not uh, not one super sound bug super sound bugs isn't as popular or well listened to compared to it, it, yeah one decay super sound bugs doesn't even have a million subscribers really so like that's yeah yeah so you know already like they're, they're doing pretty well off of that platform you know imagine if they debuted on one decay mm-hmm. so for the song oh yeah 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 as you can probably tell from the title it's a very, it is definitely a song for the summer um it's mumaton uh tropical house um very very fun and i remember we talked about um nugu uh, like our, some of our expectations with nugu's i can't remember if it was in the full episode or in the eyes and talks um like for me like i've said you know i don't adjust my expectations for smaller groups or smaller companies I still have like a minimum uh, like level of quality that I expect for a song. Right. Um, music video. Um, I won't. I won't. I won't ever use a big company as like the standard for what a music video mm-hmm. should be. Because to be honest, I think they spend too much money on music videos. Like mid-sized companies like Wulim, WM. I think that's really more like more appropriate. And so mm-hmm. like something along those le- levels of quality is what what I would expect, right? And here, this group from a company that is their first like their first group this is a very high quality song it is really good um you you can see that they put in time they put in mm-hmm. effort to try to have a really good debut especially yep. for the first skill group um yep. even though i know that too, like was really it was really good quality mm-hmm. i know that nick said that because it was a a, a f- his, the company's first group he he set his expectations a little bit lower yeah, <laughs> yeah um yeah. but this is really good um yes. i i really enjoy the latin influence that came into the mm-hmm. song yeah um and i also noticed that they very much use a lot of moon and sun uh in the imagery oh That's, yeah yeah in the imagery yep. yeah yeah yeah, so like the, you know, because we've got a lot more Nugu um, exposure because of Nick. 
Um, mm-hmm. And a lot of the ones that, that have, you know, been demonstrated, uh, such from like the really, really small companies, you know, there's always like some kind of, well, not say always, there's quite often been a lot of things where like, yeah, either the music video is just a really, really awful quality, um, or the song itself is bad quality, or the mixing, especially the mixing and the mastering. Right. Um, or even a combination of all of those things. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember. I, I distinctly remember one. The music video had like twelve hundred views, and everything was everything was bad. Even like the, even the vocals, the vocal um, delivery was very bad. You but bet. here, yeah, you know, this so, is um, this feels like that. a middle size, mid sized company. Uh, exactly. This it's exactly feels- what I thought. The exact same thing, man. Yeah, like something you, know, like, you would see. The quality would be like WM, Woolen, WM, uh, Starship. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It, it feels like that quality. Um, it's really good. Um, and then the use of extras and oh yeah, yeah, not 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 backup dancers, extras. Was Just I extras. thought I thought highlighted the girls really well. Um, yeah, and like um. You know, like he, it really it really tells you like they did not cheap out. Mm-hmm. They put in the they put in the money for um, the extras. They put in the money for the equipment because they use. You can tell that they used like no kidding professional grade equipment for right. um, which, which you don't the, see the very often. You don't see no. very often for smaller companies or for companies that are just starting out. And, yeah. Um. I'm actually really looking forward to their next comeback. Their Dude, actual I'm, comeback. I'm seriously excited about this group. Like seriously mm-hmm. excited. Mm-hmm. Um, um, in fact, I, um, I, I let them blow up. I hope so, man. Right? You know, the last time I've been ex- this excited uh, about a group uh, was probably like Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saturday so, was really good. I, I love Saturday. So um, now with this song. I was listening to it. Um, it was bugging me for a long time, and I only just realized it right before we started recording. Um, Eyes One's Violetta. <laughs> we referenced there's, there's, Eyes One quite a, a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, it's the second time now we referenced them. Yep. And so at the, uh, I guess at the, was that the bridge, I think, of the song? At some point in the song. I, I think it was the bridge. Yeah, it, it, it felt very much like um, Eyes One's. Uh, Violetta, more specifically at the parts with uh, Nako and Hitomi, because they're, like, they're really higher mm-hmm. um, uh, vocal timbers, and because one of the one of the vocalists in here has a similar uh, vocal timber as well, so it mm-hmm. very much felt like an Eyes One um, Eyes One song. So, right. which not saying that they're a rip off or, or anything bad. Like, I yeah. you know, I think that's it, how kind of gives like a familiarity for us. Mm-hmm. So it, I mean, it's very much of a what two second thing where you're like oh you know this sounds very similar yeah. out of out of a three three, three minute, minute song, song. Yeah. so it's, it's a very small like oh this this feels similar not a yep. oh yeah no they took a good like 50 percent of the song it, no yeah. we're not saying but it it's it's the use of vocals and the influences in the instruments that I can very much understand can yeah. make it so- sound very similar. And because mm-hmm. uh, Nako and Hitomi do have that higher vocal timbre. Vocal timbre? Yep, mm-hmm. yep. vocal okay. timbre. <laughs> um, I'm like, am I using that word right? Um, now, the, the song the song is very has very high energy. It's very mm-hmm. fun. Music video is a very good reflection of that, and just like you said, right? They made very good use of the extras to kind of like really emphasize um, that, the members, mm-hmm. but also the fun feeling mm-hmm. yeah. of some. Like, um, there was one dude, and he's his his face probably like showed up in like maybe a half a second, but he's off in the very side of the frame, and he's got like this really like goofy face. And he's like he's dressed in a suit, business suit, and he's just like having fun, you know, throwing his hands up. His face just looks so goofy, and I loved it. I really did. It was only a half second, but man, whatever they paid you wasn't enough for the half seconds. I, I enjoyed how they brought in basically the circus. They got the, yeah. fl- the oh yeah, fl- flame the people, yeah. the juggler, the yeah. backflipping yeah. person, the unicyclist. Yeah. I, it just added to that like party fun. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Like, and, and again, like they, they they threw in the money for all those extras. So, mm -hmm. um, really worth checking out. And you know, um, at one point in the song, I started thinking, like, I started feeling like, you know, okay, now the song's starting to get kind of repetitive. And guess what? The song ended. <laughs> it was the perfect. It was like the perfect pacing. So like, you know, like because there's been there's been a few songs before where it's like we talked about it, right? Where it's like, oh. Um, you know, they, I'm glad they cut the song off when they did because if they went on for like another, you know, 45 seconds, it just would have been repetitive. Right. Or, you know, um, we kind of like disagreed a bit where uh, one of the six members, uh, his one of his, the songs that he released was like, you, you said you wanted Young it to be K. longer. Yeah, Young K. Yeah. You said you wanted the song to be longer, and I, I was like, well, I think if you went longer, it mm -hmm. would have been repetitive. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like here, like they, they did very well with the pacing. Right. I like how they yeah. kind of cut it off with that shing and uh, yeah, and that yeah. the call basically a calling card. That that yeah. was a nice. I felt that was a really nice touch. And you know when it because they did that too, it kind of created this uh, feeling for me where it's like where it almost it made it feel like it was, it was over too soon and I want more. Now I'm craving more of the group. Right. As as you can tell, like I'm I'm really excited talking about this. So man, this this is a great debut. Right. If I kind of want to, if they do a comeback, I kind of want them to kind of pull that like card out from the wall oh, and yeah, kind of yeah. continue on to a new music video um, yeah. as a way to basically just transfer music videos. And just ev at the end of every music video, they just do something different just so it, they can pick it up with the next one. I think that would be a nice touch yeah. to connect them all together. So. If, if, if the company who debuted them See, sees us talking about this. <laughs> do it, do it. All right. So, you ready to uh, make our pick of the week? No, I'm not either, man. It's so hard. <laughs> it like was. seriously, um, like every single uh, every single song on this lineup is really good for me. And and we didn't talk about all of them either. They 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 were a good like five songs that we were like uh this is oh this is yeah kinda hard. this well, is kind of hard to take out i think it was even when we got down to 12 songs it was already like oh man what are we gonna do <laughs> we're at 12 songs it's already like we're, we're struggling to make cuts so mm -hmm. yeah um uh you know i guess i'll go with uh, um damn <laughs> i want to say lunar solar but at the same time Leon song man Right, that's really good too. So, yeah. Any, 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 mo. Oh, I love these two. Are you closer to picking? Because I think the more I talk, the more I think about, it, the more I talk about, it, the further away I get from actually picking something. Uh, I'm, I'm the, for me, I'm stuck between helicopter and uh, pity please by you know, with Jackson. Oh man, yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna just go with the. Uh, uh, Lunar Solar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm going to have to go with COC's Helicopter for myself, which is a really good one too. Right, a really good one. So, all right. Well, we'll uh press it on to our quick shots. So, mm -hmm. um, this. Wait, wait. Before should we do what we did last time and guess next? Oh, you already know. Lunar Solar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, Nick, Nick, uh, we'll we'll post Nick's choice in as a thing, yeah, as uh, a caption. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so quick shots. Um, this is an artist that we uh, didn't get to talk about in the main lineup. Uh, Ayun with Pyeongji. Uh, Pyeongji means letter. It's a oh, does it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So you can see uh, in the um, in the picture for the video. She's holding mm -hmm. a, a letter with the heart coming from it. Right. It is an acoustic ballad. It is such a lovely song. Um, like at the end of the song, I actually had a little bit of tears, some mistiness going on. Like it was a very, very moving song. Uh, your yeah. mouth was like. Oh yeah, my mouth was like I was just like just in awe the entire time. Just like. I've I've never seen him just. 
and just, like with with all the other songs too that you you saw me watching, like I was making comments as I was watching them. Mm-hmm. He that. just shut up. He just yeah. Shut this one there was none up. of that, man. I was I was so immersed into the song. Um, there's only three hundred and eighteen views for this song, and that that, that is, is criminal. That is criminal. Absolutely. So check out the song mm-hmm. if you want if you want a an acoustic ballad that will touch your soul. Because her vocals are amazing. Mm-hmm. So, on to the next one. This is former Monster X member Juanjo. He's back with Open Mind. Open Mind is a song. Just, is basically it's a song is about his abs and him showing off his own amazingly well cut abs throughout. So, okay, joking, it, joking aside, <laughs> jokes, that, that, jokes that's, aside. That's not what the song is about. <laughs> but it does aside. show his abs a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a um just like with the uh, Jackson Wang, it's it's also like a disco funk uh, soul type of song, um in, in that realm. So <sighs> very well done. And um, hey, you know if you want to see some eye candy, go for it. This is a, a, a really good, a really good song, uh, music video just for that as well. So and oh, and yeah. please don't take Ji Hoon seriously about it being all about his abs. It it, it isn't. But it, it features very prominently in the music video. Like it's more like you know, Wan Ho's abs is like the, is like the the main title character, and then like featuring you know featuring Wan Ho himself. <laughs> I have nothing to idiot. say about that. I'm, I'm an idiot. So we 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 share the, between the two of us. We're at two thirds of a brain, so we need our third idiot thing. So um. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, off to you, Aura. Alright, so we got some philanthropy, good, wholesome news. Um, IU has donated about 46,000 um, cooling vests to frontline workers to help. Oh. Yeah, right? Um, That's to a help lot. basically take care of the pandemic that is still going on right now. Um, it's. You know, and it comes up to around, uh, I think it said a hundred million won, which is about. Yeah, because those things are not no, cheap. No, it's it's about eighty four, eighty five thousand dollars U.S. dollars. Um, yeah. If if you want, and it, you know, it's to help battle uh, the pandemic, especially since more cases have suddenly started popping up again. Um, so you know, IU is being a wonderful human being as she is, um, donating and wow. yeah, you know, everyone st- continue to stay safe, do what you can to help, like, fight against this pandemic. You know, we're, we're all in this together. And you can um, help just by keeping yourself safe. Right. Um, but you know, in other really good news, we also have SES. SES's um, Bada, who just recently announced that her pregnancy, or made an announcement about her pregnancy with a very lovely letter to her fans. Um, I believe it's posted on Instagram right now. Um, and, you know, she's just radiating. Um, yep. <clears throat> very happy for her. She, like, S- SES was definitely one of the first generation girl groups yes. that hit the scene and yes yeah. so for, for the you know for the younger viewers you know ses uh they were the nation's girl group um mm-hmm. during their generation so just mm-hmm. like how girls generation of the second generation was the nation's girl group uh twice of the third generation mm-hmm. uh becoming the nation's girl group for for korea ses you know they de- debuted back in 1997 so mm-hmm. yeah yeah um, and she's 40 years old now yeah um, so yeah and- Congratulations! To yep. Her. And if you, you don't recognize uh, Bada, she was also one of the teachers for uh, idol school. In idol school. Yep. Yep. So, so yeah, congratulations! And should we close it off? Please take it away. Oh, I'm doing it. All right. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. Okay. I'm. Ba- you know, I'm bad at this. Okay. All right. All right I got it. I got it. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Out of Stand Nation. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, we have a Patreon, so if you want some additional content, please check that out. 
things we posted below. Uh, we have a Discord server if you want to interact with us and get a heads up on the things that we'll talk about, potentially talk about in the following episode, or just to keep up, up to date with the latest releases. Join us there, and we're always uh, keeping it lively there. So, uh, anything that I missed with that? Uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, and yeah, yep. stay safe, so, be good safe. to each other, and we'll see you next Bye. time. Bye.